Today we are doing the first part of a six part series going through the processing for level one NCA accounting. So first of all we're going to look at the chart of accounts which is the first part. Now the chart of accounts is based on the trial balance and we need to take everything that's in the trial balance and we need to allocate it a code number in the chart of accounts. Now the chart of accounts can be set up however a firm wants to set up. I've chosen to do three digit numbers. So for example, assets are going to be three digit numbers starting with one, liabilities two, owners equity three, revenue four, and expenses five. But a firm can choose whatever numbers they want. So for example, they might choose to do four digit numbers, five digit numbers, six digit numbers, and you don't necessarily have to have assets starting with one. The assets could start with four, and the revenue could be starting with one. It depends entirely on the firm. But this is what I've chosen for this particular chart of accounts. And this firm is Izzy's Ice Cream Parlour. And all the parts will be to do with the same firm. Now with the trial balance, the important thing to remember is the trial balance is just our expanded accounting equation. And that really helps us when it comes to determining where things go in the chart of accounts. So everything on the left hand side is either an asset, an expense, or it is drawings. Everything on the right hand side, which is the credit side, is either liabilities, owner's equity, or revenue. So that helps us determine where things go. So if we start looking at the debit or the left hand side, everything here, remember, is assets, expenses, or drawings. Drawings is really easy to pick out because it's called drawings. So we're going to start with the assets. We're going to go through and pick out the asset. The first asset I can see there is bank. The next asset is inventory. Going down, the next asset is shop fittings. Oh, excuse my spelling as I go on typing. And the next alpha asset is office equipment. So that's all my assets I've picked out of there. I'm just going to work my way through this one. I'm going to go into my liabilities now. I'm now looking at the right hand side, the credit side of the trial balance. My liabilities are going to be in there. There's going to be GST, then there's going to be loan. Owner's equity, our main one is capital, and of course the D from the left hand side, which is drawings. Up to revenue, once again on the right hand side of the trial balance, this one I'm going to have cake sales. I'm going to have cone sales and I'm going to have interest received. And the last one is expenses. So looking back at the left hand side of the trial balance, I've got purchases, I've got rent, wages, oops, gone down, wages, electricity. Advertising, bank fees, and interest expense. Notice that we've got interest on both sides because one of it's a revenue when we've earned interest of money we've got in the bank, and the other one is interest expense, which is what we are paying on the loan. Okay, going through, I'm just going to do mine really simple. Um, you can choose any number you want as long as it fits the rules. So in this case, the rules are it's three digits and has to be unique and starting with the correct uh, digits. So in case of assets, it was one. For liabilities, it's going to be two. And like I said, I'm just doing really basic, not particularly exciting allocation of numbers. You can pick whatever you want. So for this one here, you can put 462 and 421 and and whatever you want, as long as they are unique, and they fit those rules. Right amount of digits and starts with the correct digit. So now I'll go up to my pages, electricity, making my way down, and the last one. Now we're going to be using this trial balance uh, when we come to doing the um, ledgers. 